Welcome, ladies. Welcome, my dear students. Back, we are here again into uh, another part of our curriculum. And here we go. Here we go. We are just now for the uh, stopped on the on the previous lecture. We stopped on these two questions: What are the advantages of working directly for clients? What are the advantages of working directly for clients? And the second question was, what are the advantages of working in facilities? What are the advantages of working for facilities? And uh, today we will talk about the PSW and the ethical issues. The ethical, ethical issues uh, related to the PSW or personal support work. What you should do? In every work, there's code of ethics, a code of ethics, which is a set of rules and principles designed to encourage ethical conduct among a group of professionals. So this, we call it the code of ethics type. What about the personal support worker? Does he has also to have a code of ethics? Yes. Support worker provides high quality personal care. The care here is compassionate. It's a real care, not automated or mechanical care. It's care from the heart. It's equal care to all the patients with the same treatment. They work within their scope of practices as well. So they are working, uh, uh, know what they have to do and what they have not to do and what's for them illegal and what's illegal and so on. Second. The support worker need to be aware of the pol policies and the procedures mm -hmm. for each area in which he's working. Each place has its own policies. So you have to know about the policies as well. Support worker provide compassionate care to all clients. So he will give a compassionate care to all his clients. Fourth. Support worker value the dignity and worth of all the clients. He know that all the clients have their own pride, have their own dignity, and he should appreciate all of this. Support worker respects their client's choices, which we call it the autonomy. And support workers respect their client's rights to privacy, their privacy and their own confidentiality. Confidential, the confidential or confidential confidentiality. So confidentiality, this means the privacy of the information and so on. Support workers do not misuse their position of trust. They don't accept uh, gifts. They don't accept tips from the clients. They don't go on business uh, treatments or deals, business deals with their clients. As example, they don't sell for them cell phones or buy from them houses or whatever and so on. Maintaining professional relationship all the time. Support workers are valuable, uh, reliable. They come in time, they must come in time. If you are late, you have to, uh, as example, if you are late due to transportation or whatever, then you have to inform your supervisor first and tell him that I will be late. Uh, support workers always uh, promote and maintain their client safety. Safety first for the client. This is what we call safety first for the client. Here, the ethical principles, which we have started with the autonomy, which means the freedom of choice, respect the freedom of the choice to your client. Beneficence, which means do your work with high quality. Fidelity means loyalty, means give the people, or you, as a PSW, you should uh, treat them treat your own uh, clients or patients with care and loyalty. Justice, treat your patients or clients all the same, regardless of the back uh, ethnics or the race or the age or uh, non maleficence also, don't do things that harm your clients or as a PSW, do not harm your clients. Veracity means be honest with your clients. These are the things which we said it must be there. Now, 
I will stop here for a question. How can a PSW adhere code of ethics at his work? How can he adhere the code of ethics at his work? How can a PSW adhere the code of ethics at his work? Now this question, the answer of this question will take us back into, uh, will take us back into these, what the PSW code of ethics, those points, which I said before, provide high quality personal care. Uh, so support need to be aware of the policies, which the place is working in. Support worker will give a compassionate care for all his clients without discrimination. Support worker values the dignity of the, his clients. Support worker respects the client's choices, the autonomy. Support worker respects their client's rights to privacy and confidential. Support workers are reliable, the addition time, and so on. Support workers promote and maintain the safety, safety come first for the client. And we said again, that these ethical principles are very important for the uh, support worker, like the autonomy, beneficence, fidelity, justice, non maleficence and maleficence and the veracity, which is very important. I'll stop here like around five minutes and ask this question, how can a PSW adhere to code of ethics in his work? How can PSW adhere code of ethics at his work?
Now, second part, I just want to tell you here after we finish this question, is the term ethics refers to the principles of the values. The values of the, or the principles which any personal support worker has uh, to follow. And these principles tell us what is right and what is wrong. It tell us what is right and what is wrong. Um, here, like when we talk about the values as example, the core values for the personal support worker is including the justice, treating all the, the, his patients equally, the human relationship, it's very important to deal with the people professionally and at the same time with compassionate, with compassionate. Competence, do his work in the best way, with love, service, the service must be done uh, in uh, adherence with, or, uh, in, um, like in accommodating with the, the um, uh, rules and the policies, it must be in adherence with the rules and the policies. Dignity also in the workplace and the integrity for his clients. So these are the things which we said about the... Uh, we also have the morals. The morals is telling you what you have to do and what you have not to do. The behaviors and the wrong in themselves. And also it tells us the principles of behaviors that the person should believe. Also here, it must be honesty, compassion, patience, kindness. These are the main values which a personal support worker should have. He should be honesty, he should be compassion, he should be patience, he should be kind, he should be hard worker. Gratitude, thinking the others, thanking the others for their help to him, determination and confidence as well. Like I say, values are qualities. Uh, which is like things which is very important to do the work. Believes something, you believe that this is true. What we care about is this. Support workers must be aware that culture and personal circumstances may influence ethical beliefs based on the people, their backgrounds and so on. So each group of people, they have different cultures. They have different backgrounds. And for that reason, these group of people, they um, like um, they act accordingly to their own cultures. Since cultures is uh, the component, culture is a component, or it consists of culture consists of the uh, values, the norms, the beliefs, the religious principles of any society. So make sure that these things will affect about the people how they are behaving. So you as a personal support worker, have to be aware of all this, have to be aware of the differences between the different uh, back, uh, different ethnics, uh, different races, different, uh, you have to know there are differences between the people based on their culture. And you have to act accordingly. The principle of justice means that you will treat all the people the same, equally you will give your service as a war health care provider into all the uh, people without any kind of discrimination. All are the same. Everybody is the same like the others. Give them the same compassionate, give them the same service with a real compassionate, with a real love, with a real respect, and respect also their privacies. But the justice is for the fair treatment and equal treatment as well. Here we go, come to, uh, and I will just add a question just now. Ethical values are very important for the job of the personal support worker. Discuss. So here I want you to tell me why the ethical values are very important for the personal support worker. Why? Why it is important here? Why? What is the reason it's important? Like I told you before, because it's a code of conduct. His code of conduct, he showed the personal support worker what to do and what not to do, and things which he was stressing, like as examples, sincerity and the uh, loyalty, uh, equity, uh, compassionate service. He must be hard worker. The values which we talk about, just if we come here right now, I will show you the values back here. 
He must do his work with honesty, compassion, patience, kindness, confidence, determination, gratitude, and hard work. This is the answer of this question. We'll move now into another part, the beneficence. Beneficence means that you do the work, this word, beneficence, in a good way. Uh, doing your job in a good way. Non-maleficence. Non-maleficence means uh, that you don't make mistakes while you are working. Uh, the ethical decisions a support worker should carefully consider the four principles of healthcare ethics. Collect as much information about the situation as possible and consider all possible options as well. For making an ethical decision, I'm repeating it back. A support worker should carefully consider the four principles of healthcare ethics, what to do and what not to do and collect as much information about the situation as possible and consider all possible options. Here is the Canadian Charter of Rights. And in section seven here, like you see, everyone has the right to live, to life, liberty and security of the person and the right not to be deprived thereof, except in accordance with the principles of the fundamental justice. And section 15, Every individual is equal. This is for the equity before and under the law and has the right to the equal protection and equal benefits of the law without discrimination, without discrimination. So also here, the Charter of Rights, the Canadian Charter of Rights, uh, it's including the freedom of concise and religious, freedom of thoughts, beliefs, opinions, and expressions, freedom of peaceful assembly, the right to vote, the right to enter, stay, and leave in Canada, the right to leave liberty and security, the right to equity, equality before and under the law without discrimination as well. Uh, here are the basic rights of the people receiving the health services. So these are the rights of them. So our first thing is to pre prevent, um, I am as a PSW, I have to prevent discrimination, absolutely. No discrimination. Secondly, I have to promote and advance human rights. So the justice, particularly the justice and equity in treatment of all the others. So this also, we have rights for the indigenous uh, rights. We have age discrimination, topics of the charters of rights. Uh, disabilities rights, employment rights, gender uh, identity, and hiring practices. The second question which I want to talk to you about today is PSW should respect and apply the Canadian Charter of Rights principles. Then how this happened, let me discuss. So you will mention here what we mentioned in the previous two slides about the uh, Canadian Charter of Rights and how you as a PSW can get use or can benefit from the Charter of Rights and apply it into your workplace and apply it into your workplace. This is how it works. So I'll stop here like around five minutes for answering of this question. I will stop here like around five minutes for answering of this question, please. Thank you.
Okay, my dear Beck, we talk about the charter rights and how the BSW could be adhered into this to do its principles, the freedom for the Canadian citizens and the residents of Canada, the freedom uh, charter, and the how when the ethical decisions are made by the PSW, the principle of social justice must be applied. The values, he must care about the values like the honesty, compassion, patience, kindness, hard work, gratitude, determination, and confidence. And we talk also about the morals that uh, and the values as well. And we talk about the values which a personal support worker should have, like social justice, important of human relationship, competence, integrity, dignity, and services as well doing the service in a good way. We talk about the ethics, which means what he had and what he had not to do. We talk about the ethical principles, which is autonomy, efficiency, fidelity, justice, non manifestations uh, And we talk about veracity as well, which is honesty. And here we talk about also the personal support workers. Uh, when he apply the code of ethics, which is a question here, like as example, provide high quality personal care uh, and support worker needs to be aware of the policies of the place which he's working in and support worker provides compen compassionate care and the support workers value the dignity and worth of all the clients. Support workers also should give the chance for the clients for the autonomy or the choice. Support workers should respect their clients' rights. Support workers do not misuse their position of trust. They should be always loyal. And we said you, know, you shouldn't do, take accept gifts or accept tips from the uh, client or the patient or his beloved as well. Support workers are reliable, they come in time, and if they are late, they should tell uh, their bosses in work if they see or notice anything remarkable for the their clients, they have to, uh, to report it directly on the spot into the, the nurses or their supervisors. Uh, support workers promote and maintain the safety, safety of the client comes first. That is for the moment and shall see you in the next part. Thanks.